Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. So this is my friend Frank Meyer. And I wanted to show here, because I hadn't had this really happen before, I don't think, with guests that I brought on, where I created a fan. So in this particular case, it's for Ren. And the ori original track was Hi Ren. I think that's the best door opener. It was my door opener. And the song's just, I mean, amazing. I really think it sh showcases his skills, his rapping ability, his music, uh, his guitar playing. But also, just out of nowhere, he starts singing at the end. You're like, oh my god, the guy can sing too. It's really cool. And also, very good videography. I always, I love the videos that he makes. I think this was well done. Anyway, you'll see in the two reactions here, the making of a Ren fan. <laughs> because I don't want to spoil it if you didn't watch them separately. Because I did, I always put these out separate. And then I try to put them together for a bit more fun. But also, it's easier for you guys to check out. But we see by the end of it all I think Frank's a real Ren fan and I hope he listens to more Ren and I hope all of us do so anyway let me know your thoughts feel free to put them in the comments on uh, me or on Frank or most importantly on Ren I hope you guys are supporting Ren and uh, checking out his new album I know he was really excited about it so anyway thank you guys enjoy these and I look forward to seeing you on the next one Have we ever heard of a performer by the name of Ren? No. This is my next episode with buddy Frank Meyer. Frank Meyer is an author of a number of books, including On the Road with the Ramones, When the Wall of Sound Met the New York Underground, Van Halen, A Visual History from 1978 to 1985, and From Dude to Dad, The Diaper Dude Guide to Pregnancy. <laughs> He's in a couple bands. One's called The Streetwalk and Cheetahs. The other one's called Trading Aces. He directed the film Risen, the story of Kron Hell Raza Smith. And he worked as a senior content producer at Fender Musical Instruments from 2016 to 2020. His new film is called Freestyle 101 Hip Hop's History. It's out now. You can read more about it at freestyle101movie.com or you can click on this trailer and see what it's all about. Frank had never heard of Ren. We're going to jump in this together, and we'll see what he has to say about Ren. So I selected Ren here, eh, because I'm a huge fan. He was on the Justin Hawkins uh, Rides Again podcast, and he was already doing really well. But I think that really broadened his uh, his scope, and I just find him a very strong talent. I'm giving you all these reasons to love the guy. However, you're heavily immersed in the in rap especially the history of rap and and r&b and whatnot much more so than i am and i feel he's done something that is a master stroke and so because of your background i'm super super intrigued to see what you tell me about him so uh, we're going to jump into this and you can let me know what you think i'm terrified by the way now that you give me that <laughs> intro as to what is about to happen but all right i'm, I'm gonna play along <laughs> i feel like I, I set it up like oh man i'm totally playing a joke on you but i'm not actually I'm totally are you about to hit a, and we're gonna like limp biscuits gonna come on no, gonna it. it really sounded because i was very like proper there all right let's do it <laughs>
Hi there, Ran. It's been a little while. Did you miss me? You thought you buried me, didn't you? Risky. Cause I always come back. Deep down, you know that. Deep down, you know I'm always in periphery. Ran on your pleased to see me. It's been weeks since we spoke, bro. I know you need me. You're the sheep, I'm the shepherd. Not your place to lead me. Not your place to be biting off the hand that feeds me. Hi, Ran. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately And I've learned some new coping skills So I haven't really needed you much man I think we need to just step back and chill Ren, you sound more insane than I do You think that those doctors are really there to guide you Been through this a million times Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to Okay, take another pill boy Drown yourself in the sound of white noise Follow this 10 step program Rejoice, all your problems will be gone Fucking dumb boy Nah mate, this time is different man Trust me, I feel like things might be falling in place and my music's been kinda doing bits too Like I actually might do something great And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered For doing something special with myself That's why I don't think that we should talk man Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we, we are one Split in two, that makes one, so you see You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side Oh your music is thriving, delusional guy Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that I never chase numbers, statistics or stats I never write hooks for the radio They never even play me So why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connected And the people who find it respect it And for me that's enough Cause this life's been tough So it gives me a purpose I can rest in Man, you sound so pretentious Ran, your music is so self-centered No one wants to hear another song About how much you hate yourself Trust me you should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglected, I get it You wanna be a big deal Next Jimi Hendrix, forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're wrong When I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song that was not done previous A battle with his subconscious Eminem did it Played on guitar Plan B did it Man, you're not original, you criminal Rip off artist, the pinnacle of your success Is stealing other people's material. Ren mate, we've heard it all before. Oh, uh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck <laughs> you. I don't need you. I don't need to hear this. Cause I'm fine by myself. I'm a genius. And I will be great. And I will make waves. And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us. That's right. Speak your truth. Your fucking god complex leaks out of you. It's refreshing to ask for you. Say it instead of downplay it. Uh, music is all about the creative process And if people can find something to relate to within that Then that's just a bonus Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you, Ren Well fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you, Ren I'ma do it, watch me prove it Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside <sighs> Newsflash I was created at the dawn of creation I am temptation I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings. I am sin with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mustopheles, truth in a blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips. So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal. Feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that Lies chaos that causes division I live inside death, the beginning of ends I am you, you are me, I am you, friend Hi, Ren I've been taking some time to be distant I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself And I've spent half my life ill But just as sure as the tide starts turning Just as sure as the night has dawned Just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry When you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand It's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet And you know me, my will is eternal and you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor And I go by many names also Some people know me as hope Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today 
I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain And I didn't once flinch your shape So cower at the man I've become When I sing from the top of my lungs That I won't retire, I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong And when I am gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a to different sides When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students it wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax and I learned to soften and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget that we are human beings. What'd you think? Well, <laughs> a lot going on there. Uh, I mean, he says it himself in the song that, uh, or he makes an Eminem reference in the song. I mean, my first thought as, as it kind of got going was like, oh, he's kind of a sing, like a singing acoustic Billy Bragg version of Eminem. You know, if like if Cillian Murphy were doing Billy Bragg doing Eminem, that's uh, sort of how I would describe this guy. If anyone gets those references, um, I he certainly can rap. If you go into the rapping part of it, there's no doubt about that. He definitely knows what he's doing. He can rhyme. He can rap. And it was interesting, compelling stuff. It did feel kind of like we've, you know, I mean, Eminem sort of covered that exact subject matter uh, with Dr. Dre. <laughs> A few times, um, but certainly. Um, so, but I mean, I liked what he did with it. it. My only real complaint would be it, it could use some editing. I mean, that song did not need to be 10 minutes long. Uh, there's just I mean, I realize a good minute of that was sort of the setup of the video and the outro and stuff. Yep. Um, but musically, I felt like there was about three minutes of Jim just doing the same thing over and over and over again. And like, OK, we get it. You're talking to yourself. It's different heads or personalities. But like, I don't need five minutes of that before we move on to the bridge of the song. Like it went a long time before anything happened musically that was just not that chord change. So like as a guy who appreciates a good rhyme, I go, oh, yeah, it's cool. You can rap and, and he can sing and he's doing it together and he's got kind of an interesting style. Um, but as a songwriter, I go, there's no way you could not have told that story uh, I mean, there's no way you that song needed to be 10 minutes. That could have been a five minute thing. 
Um, and I feel like it would have had more impact because there's just a certain point where like your brain kind of goes, all right, if you're not going to take this somewhere, what are we doing? You know, that's how my brain went. But I'm not saying by any means that it's like bad or anything. I kind of really dug it. It's like at first I was like, what the hell is going on? Then as he was getting into the vibe of it, um, and it was all of a sudden having that for, forget about Dre split personality, Eminem -E vibe. He's talking to him. I was like, oh, I'm feeling this. But then five minutes went by and nothing else happened besides that him talking to himself until it hit a bridge. And then he went back to it. And then it was a spoken word. And I just kind of go, man, you could have truncated that to a tighter piece and it would have maybe had a little bit more impact. So his other stuff is shorter. I I love the length. I, I'm, I'm an anomaly, I guess. I love it. I just started sinking my teeth in more and more. I love some of those lines. As you I mean, but yeah, there's some really cool there's lines for sure. And I like how the like the you know, it's kind of starting all like internally in his brain. But by the end of the song, it's like the cosmics and the universe. And he yeah, kind of well, it's 10 minutes. Of time, yeah. Right. <laughs> Get in. So, yeah. Right, I mean, cool. it's certainly interesting, interesting sound. You don't hear. I definitely would say it's unique. I'd probably want to hear some shorter stuff because that just felt like such a an epic um but uh you definitely i'm gonna do something style you don't hear very often you know i'm gonna let's do something let's play another one of his tracks real quick because uh, i usually go to a different artist but i'm a ren fan i'm gonna do a track called animal flow which he recently came out with it's a lot lot shorter and then i'm intrigued to see what you think i okay. don't i don't usually do back to back the same artist but let's jump into that real quick we're breaking the rules here man we're breaking we're the format. breaking down the walls because of ren <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, let's do something. Let's play another one of his tracks real quick, because uh, I usually go to a different artist, but I'm a Ren fan. I'm going to do a track called Animal Flow, which he recently came out with. It's a lot, lot shorter. And then I'm intrigued to see what you think. I okay. don't I don't usually do back to back the same artist, but let's jump into that real quick. We're breaking the rules here, man. We're breaking, we're the getting, format. breaking down the walls because of Ren. <laughs> <laughs> so if you saw the first episode here with my friend Frank Meyer reacting to Ren, he thought that High Ren was a little bit too elongated. Uh, he could have made it more concise. I disagree. But nonetheless, I wanted to play him another Ren track to see if he would change his mind on a track that was just a few minutes long. And so we'll jump this together and we'll find out. If you didn't watch that episode and you don't know what I'm talking about, Frank Meyer is an author of a number of books, including On the Road with the Ramones, When the Wall of Sound Met the New York Underground, Van Halen, A Visual History from 1978 to 1985, and From Dude to Dad, The Diaper Dude Guide to Pregnancy. He's in a couple bands. One's called The Street Walk and Cheetahs. The other one's called Trading Aces. He directed the film Risen, the story of Kron Helraza Smith, and he worked as senior content producer at Fender Musical Instruments from 2016 to 2020. His new film is called Freestyle 101 Hip Hop's History. It's out now. You can read more about it at freestyle101movie.com or you can click this trailer to see what the film's all about. Let's jump into this with Frank and let's see what he has to say about a different Ren track and see if he likes it. Let's do this. All right, I'm back here with my buddy Frank. We just listened to High Ren and it wasn't that you didn't like it. You just thought it was a little bit too loose. You would have tightened it up as an editor, maybe you've been editing too long recently on your newest feature. <laughs> it's easy to keep. It's easy to keep going. So I selected a newer track called Animal Flow that I'm really keen on. That is a short track. It's only three minutes. And so let's see what you think now. And uh, you, you can still you can still not love it. I won't hate you, but let's see. <laughs> You're in the mind of a cannibal king Where chaos and anarchy roam And trouble is bubbling under the skin A certain insanity shows Whenever I pick up the mic and begin Whenever these words that I write with my pen come alive They ignite like I pulled out the pin Animal flow Out in the jungle I'm ready for war I'm beating your brains with a bat I'm swinging it back and it's spooky Your bikes I'm bored Lord of the cannibals bro A murderous mind that you can't ignore I wait and react with combat on the counter Attack on the king of the jungle I roar Animal Animal 
Animal, animal flow, I'm the flow CEO I've got mountains of murderous brains Mountain volcanic, I blow and cause mayhem and panic There's nowhere to run from my mind I'm an impassable foe, never slowing Just drawing and flowing with intricate lines Yes, I will dig in my teeth when I bite like a beast Blood, I drink it like wine Animal flow, how ain't no wilderness I will be king, sit on my phone I'm the lord of the rings, out on my own I'm a terrible thing, animal skins Over my shoulders I bling, they will be clothing my sins I came to win, over and over again I'll take your life with a grin Animal. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow It made the blood look so much redder when I slit its throat Watch it drip, <laughs> drop, drip, drop till the ground was soaked Oh Mary, Mary, quite contrary how the blood it flows Horrific, explicit, I feel parasitic, acidic, I'm eating your flesh yum, 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 Don't fidget, I'm livid, no mentally with it, I get kinda sick when I'm stressed yum, 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 yum. I am the eye, I am the storm, I am the fury, I am the scorn, I am the belly, I am the Yes I am, yes I am, yes I'm an animal Yes I'm an animal, yes sometimes the things I say are irrational Yes sometimes the things I do are quite radical Yes I will be waging war on the capital Yes I will burn the houses of parliament down Cause hypocrites they burn quite easily, wow Burn and pillage it all to the ground Your illegitimate king lost his crown Animal flow, show no mercy under my rule I won't be kind, I will be cruel Down on my foes in a paddling pool Yes I'm tyrannical bro, so never mistake I'm man for a fool I'll take your ignorance right back to school and teach you a lesson for testing my cool Animal. Thumbs up or thumbs down, Frank? Oh, thumbs up. That's way more uh that's more up my alley. That had a very like cool Keith kind of Dr. Octagon vibe. Um and I really, really dug the video. Both the videos are really cool. Um, as a filmmaker, I, 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 you know, I'm looking at all the editing and the way they were doing those long shots and all the references to, with the you know, Kubrick uh, with the masks and um, kind of got a Terry Gilliam thing. Uh, I, I really dug the video a lot too. But man, I mean, the guy, there's no doubt he can he can wrap his 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 buttocks off, <laughs> and uh, that to me was a lot more. I mean, I wouldn't exactly call it like classic hip-hop sound it's a lot more modern sound yeah. um musically almost more in the like run the jewelsy kind of vein as far as like newer stuff goes but like it had a good beat he's rapping his ass off really cool imagery and stuff uh and i like his the way he sort of um almost kind of scats over the beat and adds like a, a vocal element to the beat besides just his rapping. He did that on the, on the last one too. Um, so yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Good. All right, cool. So speaking of great singers, I'm going to jump over to Kazakhstan. Have you ever heard of a singer by the name of Dimash? No. Let's jump into that. I think you'll be impressed. Let's give it a go. All right. <laughs> Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.